here and today we're going to start working on our maps because the main activity is going to be a map in which the user, the customer, can call an, uh, an Uber and uh, uh, see the location where the Uber is and the pickup location and for the driver um, the map will serve as a way to see where the pickup location will be and its current location so to do this we first need to uh, use the Google a Google API because the Google Maps is an API and we are going to, to use it and we must register our application with the Google services so what you're going to do I'm going to open up a new one so you can see from the beginning so just type Google API click on the first one and you'll be in a page similar to this go to console okay and you'll get probably an empty one because I already have some apps registered with them so these probably won't appear to you but let's just create it you can go ahead and actually go to the API manager which is on the left pane go to dashboard click in enable API and in here you will have a bunch of APIs that Google offers but what we are going to use is the Google Maps Android API which is this one right here so go ahead and click it and go and click enable okay create credentials Go Maps API okay and here it is the um, this code will tell Google that your app is being used so it is really important we are going to use it later so but now for now that's all don't close this page leave it open okay now let's go into our Uber app and this is where we left off last time and this main activity uh, the, um, and we said that let me just get here that this map activity will be our map activity obviously but now we won't be really using this because this map activity was just a placeholder for the meantime now to create the real map activity go into left click on the package select new and here go to Google and Google Maps activity. Now let's call let's start with the, the driver map activity. Because we are going to have two map activities, one for the driver, one for the customer. Because as, as I've said, um, I want to make the app as modular as possible so it is easy for you to understand and to pinpoint uh, the code that you need so that everything becomes easier so yeah let's go ahead and finish now this page will appear and you don't need any of this you the only thing that matters is where it says your key here where it says that you are going to copy the link the key that was um, given to you in the Google API cloud platform and you can go ahead copy that and place it right here you don't need to do anything in fact the best is to just close this page and forget about it and let me just close the rest okay 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 and now you have a page like this now the um, let me grab the layout which is this one 
and the layout has a fragment that has a map in it. As you can see, it has this name, and this name in, uh, tells the, the app that this is the, a map, a Google map. And so, in here, with what Google has already provided us, is they basically called the map, and they called map.getMapAsync. This will start the app, the the map, excuse me. And so it makes us it really easy, and we don't really need to do anything else. If we start the application now, the map will be uh, started. Let me just explain to you what this on map ready does, and what it does is tell us when the map is ready for use because the map takes uh, some time to load so you can't just go here and write whatever you have to wait for the map to load and only then you can add markers and do what you want to do with it so i'm just going to um, to launch the map the the app and show you what what this is what this marker is if you don't uh, know what it is but for now we need to go in here and instead of map activity obviously we have driver map activity so let's run it I have to run it on my my phone because the Google the, the emulator does not work well with Google Maps API. So if you get some kind of error, if the app crashes because of the Maps API um, and you are using an emulator, don't be scared, it is normal. Just try to use a physical device. So here is my my phone and the, the app has finished loading. So because we are you, we have the driver map, map activity, you are going to select the I'm a driver and you are going to use the, the account that we created in the past lesson so driver at driver.com for password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 login and here it is as you can see the marker points to Sydney it has the, the latitude and the longitude and if you cl we click on it, it should appear marker in Sydney. So let's go ahead and try it. Here it is. So it is a completely func functioning map. You can see, and this is what you're going to use to do what I told you in the, um, the beginning of this lesson. So this, uh, this lesson was just to explain you how to create a map, how to set it up. In the next lesson, we'll go in a bit deeper into the, the map environment and we are going to try to get our current location and try to, most importantly, update it every few seconds. That way, we, are, we always know where we are. Because if we call it the normal way, let's call it that, uh, the app will only grab our location when that function is called and then it stops it is it is never called again so we, we have to do some kind of gymnast to actually get it consistently which is really important because in Uber when you are using Uber you cannot you can see the for example the the, your driver's car moving and they use a similar process to what we are going to use so that is all for now thank you all very much for watching leave a like subscribe and yeah ciao